Okay. Um, the next one, given given your history and, and your experience um, as a CEO and at board level, I'm interested. Can you give some insight on the interaction and influence that boards and CEOs have in creating better organizations? Well, they 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 they, they, they are the leadership. Mm. Uh, and the stewards of the organization, uh, it, it, they are accountable for it. They are accountable for it. Uh, the board, uh, I like to use the word steward. The, the board is the steward responsible for stewardship and governance of the company. And by governance, I mean uh, how it operates uh, in a broad framework. Uh, and by stewardship, I mean that you are responsible for the fundamental constitution and health of the organization. And you should hand over the state of the organization to the next board in a better state than you first inherited. Yeah, that, that's about stewardship. Mm -hmm. uh, and the executive, the chief executive and his team are responsible for the execution and the inspiration of the organization of the strategy. And strategy must be co-created, led by the CEO, but co-created with the board because they must have shared contacts. That's my simple model. At a, at a highest level, it's the governance and stewardship. Yeah? It's not about running. And they have only one employee, and that one employee is a CEO. I subscribe to the uh, uh, Carter model, uh, policy model. Yeah? So you have one, and that employee has a team of executive, uh, senior executive directors, so senior executive uh, heads and a team uh, which you post on the board. And the board is to say that what are the things we won't do and why, and, but within the things you do, you, 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 that is really up to the CEO to deliver uh, the, the vision and the strategy of the organization. So I'm very clear about that. Uh, what happens uh, is that when there is no ownership, everybody, think there is somebody else who owns it. I, I think the chairman, mm. the chairman of the board must own it, must own the governance, and the CEO must own the strategy of the company and the execution of strategy. Uh, but there are cases where everyone seems to own a decision of the organization, so no one is accountable. Uh, so we often say that sometimes authority can be very widely disputed, and it could be a good thing because it, 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 it ensures collaboration and reduces concentration of power. Yeah? Uh, so in non-profits, uh, in mutuals, and sometimes in professional bodies like IFOA, uh, authority could be widely diffused. But, but there is a balance, yeah? because if it's too widely diffused in a period of change or in a period of transformation, you can't move because uh, you, then you have to do some interventions to ensure that you can move. Because authority right. needs to be sought and it takes a long time to seek it. And in an interesting way, uh, IFOA is uh, in, that, uh, uh, in that transition. Yeah. Transition. Uh, yeah. Uh, based on the work we have been doing for the last 16, uh, 20 months, uh, the IFOA has a new strategy called the BSMD strategy and also the member centric proposition. Uh, but our curve is one based on history, yeah? uh, the way we do things. The new curve is a completely new curve. But between the two curves, there's an intervening curve uh, because the culture of the place uh, and the practices of the place is still hinged on old culture, uh, which is based on permission, uh, which is based on consensus, uh, which is based on uh, rules, yeah? uh, not on member centricity, not on ownership, not on... Uh, quick delivery, uh, but a new uh, strategy requires that. So in between, we've got to create uh, what I call um, experiments or ad hoc groups. Uh, ad hoc groups are called ad hoc uh, which was uh, a, a, a form of management thinking, uh, which was advanced by Alvin Toffler in the 1970s, and then uh, substantially researched by uh, Robert Waterman, who is the joint author with uh, uh, Tom Peters. And I was made aware of this uh, only recently when I read something, uh, doing some research. Yeah? But it's not uh, a dramatic thing. Uh, it's about how you manage between two, uh, two paradigms. Yeah? Uh, you've got to move from one paradigm to the next. 
And I think the greatest thing is that you must have the imagination and the courage to, to think about what's going on here. What's going on here? And what are we here about? Are we here about obeying rules? Or are we here about making a difference? Or changing the profession, or being in the profession, try here. Yeah. Uh, so these are some of the fundamental uh, questions which comes with mindset. So that's why I always go back to culture as your determining factor.